Ooh. A road in a valley lined by trees. Just down the road from the Danish town of Solvang, California is Wilton, California. This is the Santa Ynez Valley. On my way to Solvang, two restaurants caught my eye, and I extended my trip by at least an hour so I could check these places out. And now, after the passing weeks, my research for this video surpassed my expectations, and I can't wait to share the details. I stood by the side of the road and set out to capture the road in both directions. But I would go on to fly the drone even higher to reveal solving in the distance. Of which I now have two videos. The California mythology is definitely in the air in the Santa Ynez Valley. We will be exploring the Hitching Post 2 and AJ Spurs Western Style Family Dining and Saloon. So let's go. The Hitching Post 2 had a romantic, warmly lit atmosphere. Honestly, I was just going to get some coffee, but the server took too long, so I left without ordering. But after doing my research on this place, I really wanted to return for a proper visit. The Hitching Post 2 opened in 1986, a restaurant built on the tradition of California barbecue, which means grilling over an open fire of red oak. This is called Santa Maria Style Barbecue. Santa Maria Style Barbecue is a regional tradition rooted in the Santa Maria Valley on the central coast of California. This style centers on beef tri-tip seasoned with salt, black pepper, and garlic then grilled over coals made of red oak. The grill is made of iron and usually has a hand crank to adjust the height of the grill over the coals. President Reagan himself was an avid fan of the Santa Maria style of barbecue, and he had several such barbecues staged on the White House lawn. The original hitching post opened in 1952 and helped to popularize the Santa Maria style of barbecue to diners. Red Oak barbecue is mingled with the scent of pine and eucalyptus, so you aren't just paying for food, but aromatherapy as well. But the hitching post too isn't just about barbecue, they also make wine. Great. The flagship wine is the Hitching Post Highliner. It's the wine I get to craft. The acidity of the wine cuts the richness fat of the burger in a really good way. So we think Highliner's the, the wine and we're sticking to that story. In fact, the Hitching Post 2 was featured in the Academy Award winning film Sideways. And you should know, The Hitching Post 2 has been praised extensively in Gourmet Magazine, The Los Angeles Times, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, Forbes.com, Sunset, and USA Today. They also have homemade burgers made from chuck, filet mignon, and top sirloin. And they make their own bacon in-house for the burgers. And they also make their own buns in-house. Damn, I sure missed out. And AJ Spurs was also used in the movie Sideways. So, AJ Spurs was the restaurant that I was most excited to explore. I think you could even say that I have a bit of an Old West restaurant fetish. Funny, as I am not a big fan of Western movies, but I love Western restaurants and barbecues. In fact, the original AJ Spurs closed down due to an infestation issue. So you should not take places like this for granted. I certainly don't. So please enjoy these views, and the atmosphere.
In fact, a woman was also going around taking pictures like me. The owner even thought that I was with her, but I assured him that I do my own thing. Between the music playing from inside and the highway sounds, this place already had perfect sound. And there is also an AJ Spurs in Grover Beach, California. And well, you're just going to have to look that up on a map for yourself. When I got inside, I confessed my admiration for the restaurant to the man in front, and my desire to record. He said it was fine. He was surprised that I wanted to eat. He explained that most of the restaurant was closed and only one section was still open, and I eventually made my way to a seat. The server said I was going to get complimentary beans and soup. I explained that I was on a budget and that I wouldn't be ordering a normal order. So we arranged for me to pay for the usually complimentary starters. Once again, I got a stew, beans and salsa, and a coffee. I need to be dramatic here. In these moments, I was feasting on the Old West and Christmas all at once, and nobody can take that away from me, and that magic can be all yours too. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm done with that stuff. Yeah. So what is this salsa? Or? Yeah, that's salsa and beans. You just mix them all. Okay, okay, that's fine. As you witnessed, I learned about mixing beans with salsa, which was a truly satisfying culinary discovery. And I broke out in one of my usual sweats when I eat soups and stews. And for the price of the food that I ordered, I left a pretty good tip. And I learned something else, too. AJ Spurs is inspired by the tradition of chuck wagon cooking. It means so much to me to be aware of another style of cooking. And especially a western one. And well, that certainly looks a lot like the stew that they served me. After I paid for my food, they were nice enough to let me go upstairs and check it out. Oh, yeah. And upstairs was simply overwhelming. Let me tell you that this place is the gift that just keeps on giving. Then the man in front let me record the rest of the restaurant that was closed, and my western dream continued. Thank you.
of those happy places. And hopefully you find some of that happiness too. And well, if you enjoyed any of this, or appreciate my mission to capture these beautiful atmospheres, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new, and blessings.